Yo! Oh, oh. The prof is back in the house. That was a nice one. <laughs> the prof is back in the house. And I'm here with. Breeze. And, and also. Jenna. Yes, sir. And we'll be reacting to blue therapy. If you don't know what blue therapy is, it's a couple's therapy session, which I believe is not scripted at all. And these are real people's lives. You know, I'm on team Jeremiah today. Anybody on team Paul? Chama, I'm with my, my nigga Paul and Jamel, you know what I'm saying? I'm on team Debra and Chama. Yes. Yeah, I think I, I, I still want to believe that Jamal did not cheat from the past episode. This is the season finale, we're actually still toxic to me. Let's start the video so we'll actually know what's going on. Jamal, please. Wait, that's the stuff. I told my sister about this and I gave her the update about how the therapy is going. Hey. Um, now that my sister's here, okay, guys, I was lying, I man. Paul is so cute. So exactly. I was actually looking at you when you said that. Like, there's no way. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. I'm actually just capping, bro. Paul is just dumb, bro. What the fuck? It's fact that sister came for me, sure. I don't care. Because I forgot that she was coming, so my sister's you here, forgot. Thomas here. It's a tricky situation. I don't think this is. Actually, what doesn't like this stuff? Chomo, Chomo, Chomo. What's the feeling, Chomo? The same person we're in therapy to discuss has come to my therapy session. Do you see what I'm talking about? This has to be a prank, like literally. I'm so sick and tired. I don't know what relationship this girl wants to have with her brother, whatever insta shit she, got, she has in her head or she dreams about. This is some bullshit, like, I don't understand what your problem is. We're in therapy, leave us alone, go what? away. What the hell? What is she doing? I'll explain it, like, yeah. let me just There's talk to her. What, the Babe, what is she doing after therapy Please, please. Can I have a minute? Okay. So, Chuma's back in the room now. The only thing is, with my sister, I'm gonna have to tell her to leave, although she came for me. Wait, I just thought yeah, like but why did she come in the first place? For my relation. Do you guys think that Paul's relationship is that weird? I don't think it's weird, I just feel like, Honestly, I feel like he should respect his babe more. Mm. I feel like family is different from like your girl, you know what I'm saying? For like Choma and like Paul in this scenario, like they are becoming a family, you know what I'm saying? At the point, your actual family becomes your extended family, and your wife and your children become your nuclear family. So he needs to show Chioma that respect, you know what I'm saying? True, true. Yeah, I think and he needs to also stop using her as a dickhead. That's actually very true. Like, that's the biggest why, why did she bring her kids now? Exactly. Why did she bring her why kids? Why is she by herself? It's because she knew it was televised. Period. That's why. Period. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of trying to make it work and you know that type of stuff, so yeah, it's a tricky one. Can I call you back, please? I'm gonna call you later. Trust me, it's deep. it's deep. You see, this is how he it's talks. Deep. It's deep. It's deep. So it's Shama's fault. Thank you for coming back here. Hey. <laughs> it really is important, you know, if you want to make a go of things that everyone releases whatever they've got inside them and um while you've been out jamal and i have had a little chat my babe she's always and looking for jamal i know you do not cheat she always looks jamal do you want to take from here jamal he's see. always looking so i know jamal do not cheat jamal is always looking so unconcerned man he doesn't give a nah, fuck nah it's the face of, gu of a guilty person he always looks guilty it's the fact that he could not drop his phone at the table he always looks like he's thinking about something, like he's thinking about his next lie. The next man. thing you should say. I know you did not cheat, but let's go. Guy, you just literally um, said you cheated. No! You didn't want to drop his phone on the table. Come on, man. Man, Debs, now I love you. See how he's thinking. Ah, Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get that alone. No, chill, let's go back. See how, he, see how he's thinking. Maybe he's thinking about how much he loves her. He's, think, he's thinking about what he to say. He always is thinking before he speaks. Like. But see, because in the situation, he knows that it's a hot, you know, that it's a hot, it's a hot moment. For sure. I'm not defending him. I'm just telling you, like, until he admits or cheating, I don't cheat yet. Guy, he did admit though to Denise. No, please. I love you. Everything that you do is beautiful. Guys, men always want to be like, you know I love you, when do you know they did something wrong? Mm -hmm. That's what you know if you love someone. I know. Well, what are you trying to do? 
I'm so invested in these people. Like, so I even. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying. Oh. Um, the strength in a relationship is trust. And you have mentioned that you're finding it difficult to trust. You know, you're just been talking at the wrong time. But also, yeah, it's that's important that people are honest with themselves yeah. and with each other. So, on that note, Jamal? No, I'm always going to be transparent. Just, and I'm real with you. I never want to, you know, lie to you. Um, okay. Like, you know you how I, at least. Okay, I'm just so... I'm just so focused. Why are you asking like this? I'm telling you, there's a way men act when, when they're they about to confess to something. Like, it's so obvious. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, you're just so focused on, like, Christina. Yeah. Like, you don't have to worry about it. Like, I thought you meant to show me what's happening. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Okay, why do I have to worry about Christina? If you're not gonna show me what's on your phone. This other than Aaron is too much. Like, whatever you need to say to me, please just say it or let's go home. Like Originally, I was kinda like I was on Team Jamal. I'm still on Team Jamal until he admits to cheating. But what I'm saying is, I hate this Deborah girl. Actually, but no, I can't I can't blame her for her actions because it's kind of shady. I actually understood her. Yeah, I know, but from the jump, I knew she, there's no way she could just be acting like that for no reason. Like, that can't be her real personality. What is it that you need to say? Because the way you're building it up, the way you're taking your time, you're going to say something, man, and I'm not here for it. No, Christine's my friend, man. But well, she ain't the one. Can you hurry up? Okay, Please, you're actually taking issues to talk. You guys don't want to say it. Okay. And then she wanted to calm down. So I know we've had that. Like, I've been calm. I've been sitting here waiting for you to talk. Can you say whatever you have to say now, please? Denise, bear with okay. us. Jamal, just let it out. Alpha, alpha. Like, this is hard. Alpha. I'm going to be hard. But, yeah, Christina isn't the one that you really should be worried about. So that means there's somebody to be me. worried about? Oh, okay. <laughs> can you, can you, Jamal, please? So, no, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, I'm not so like, Christina is not one of Okay, so. I guess. How can I say this? How? Don't tell me you cheated me. He's about to say that because and he switched, he switched. Oh, please. So, like I said, yeah, Christina isn't the one she should be doing. Okay, so. I guess, how can I say this? How do you see it? It's not easy to see which stuff. When you were doing the doing thing, you didn't know that it was not easy. No, that part is easy though. I did not confess to anything on camera. Yo, do we go? Yo, yo. Ah! I hope she has left this man. I really hope she has left this man. No, because you see, you see, this is what I don't like. Shoma, can you just? Want you, I'm about to lose it. Shoma, can you just explain what's going on? Poor sister is here. Sorry. Paul, his sister, is here. I don't understand what she... What did she come here to do? I don't understand. Maybe she should be here and now she should be outside. Hey, hey, hey. This is what I mean. This, she's, oh, my God. Oh, God. Can I land? Okay, look. Denise. Can I land? I hate you. He's always landing. Stop. <laughs> With his body. Um, <laughs> I was worried. He said, like, bull is here. I'm a friend of the <laughs> <laughs> person that she knows. So you're about to come here. No, no, no. I communicated the situation. And she came here to do what? So you got... I was worried. I'm a family orientated person, as she knows. So you got her to come here? No, no. I communicated the situation. And she came sister, here to do what? In support of us. 
So she does she know I was gonna be here? Well You could have given me a heads up, babe. Yeah, but I didn't even know you were gonna come and you know, I hadn't seen you in a week. You even came late. So the person I had <laughs> online enjoying himself posted, you want me to tell you about what's going on. No no, you need to be in the house. When you are at home, I hate this then so much. I'll be able to discuss with you. I think it's I think I think I think it's because he's older than her by lot. You know she's twenty four, he's like thirty two. No, he's not even that, he's an insecure guy. Like you can just tell mm. that he's insecure. Is it head shape? And his ego is bigger than his forehead. Yeah, exactly. But apart from <laughs> <laughs> okay. that, like there's no way he met her on Instagram, but he told her that she should stop posting on Instagram. Like, mm. It smells now. Whoa! I told you what's going on with that's, the progress. Your up. sister really, really needs to chill because I'm getting so irritated at this point. This is supposed to be for us. She's part of our issues, and she's also here. No, yeah, that's like not she, gonna work. Yeah, like, I'm Ooh. not having him. No, the sister. Yeah, that's no, the sister. Even if she wanted to come, she should have informed her. See, see, I bro, see, I bro. I hate this one so much. Okay. Yeah, so you guys do it again. For me, it's how he acts. I'm not having. Well, let's not put a full stop on it. Let's just say put a comma for a second. Um. Can you appreciate that maybe Shoma is uncomfortable with your sister being here today? What the fuck is she doing here? Bro. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a lot of energy, Paige. Are you that. understanding what is going on? Your sister's at our therapy session, babe. Babe, I haven't seen you in a week. So? <sighs> so? What do you think's worse, Denise? I don't want to have to put my hands on this lady, this woman, because she's violating me, my personal space, my relationship. Enough is enough. He's at our, oh my god. Okay, okay, where have you been? Where have you been? Okay, where have you been? Where have you been? No, where have you been? Okay, been? Wait, it's, 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 it's so maybe he didn't even it. know where she was, bro. He didn't even know where she was. Is and he, he didn't care to find out where she was until she came to therapy. He's not like, oh, where have you been? Man. Where have you been? With that stinking British accent. Where have you been? No, I like the little Keep it. Keep it. Disgusting. Doing what? What are you doing in the house? There seems to be an underlying maybe historic issue that's fundamental to your relationship. Can you think what that might be? I feel like things maybe started off when we moved in together. I don't know, for me, I feel like maybe Paul feels guilty. Guilty? That's why, yeah. Why would Paul feel guilty? Because about the situation happened with the thing us, about this place, uh, she's about to cry. we decided to move in. Together. Babe. What's the situation? I just need a little bit more information. What's the situation? Babe. What's going on? Yeah, we're here to solve things, so. But the stuff is something, something that we don't really discuss. So. No, dead ass. Well, because I want to discuss last, it because you got... If you guys watched the last episode, he brought up some old shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found three years ago about. So now she can't bring up old shit. Well, I feel like this is, I feel like this is deep, shit. Yeah, but it's so. disgusting. Okay, I, I don't think it's a good idea for us to do Well, I'm going to discuss it. Shit. I feel like I would need some sort of closure, at least, oh, with the situation. Shit. So, about eight months or so ago, um, sorry, it just gets a bit, you know. Um, so, eight months ago, myself and Paul got ourselves into a situation where we... Um, Had sex with your sister. So that, so basically, like, if that's the next thing, yeah, why? No, <laughs> yeah, why? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. So a situation where we, um, so that, like, so basically, I got, um, so I was, so I got pregnant. <sighs> yeah, eight months ago, and obviously I'm not pregnant now. So, right. you know, oh. um, so this is a very um, sensitive topic, and I have to be careful how I speak about it. Um, Prior to this conversation or coming to therapy, myself and Paul have never spoken about it. It's almost been like a taboo in our house. We're here to resolve situations and it's, it's, it's been hurting me and I kind of want to get off my chest. And whose decision was it to um, change you being pregnant? At the time, Paul and I were on the brink. And he suggested that we would, um, so but he knows my stance with these things. I'm so sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Take your time. Okay. So he knows my stance with these things. Um, 
because in my lineage of my in my family we have like so we find it difficult to get pregnant um so like some aunties and people who like this um ovarian cysts and things like that and who knows my stance with abortions so when we were together and we got pregnant he was not willing to be a dad at that time and i've always said i've always had this thing where i wanted to be i'm so sorry it's so okay. embarrassing okay okay um paul maybe just give give you have a moment can you just give me some insight into what was happening at that time i feel like paul is a very greedy so, but yeah, I feel like he's a very greedy man. Like he doesn't like really care about the other person's feelings unless it's his. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even expect to get it. That's actually crazy. So she got rid of the baby. What I'm getting is she got rid of for the him. baby because that's what he wanted. Yeah. Well, he didn't consider what she wanted. That was actually mad. I didn't expect it you know what it means to do that for someone, and it puts me through so much stress still. Men. Yeah, man. Identify as a person, please. Men, <laughs> men, bro, men. Um, as Chogo said, a good few months ago, we, uh, well, bas basically, it was a drunken night. Um, you say we drunken were both night? Drinking a bro, they've had sex on bro, they're in a relationship. What do you mean, drunken night? She needs to leave this guy right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Responsibly. Um, Are you actually kidding me? So, basically, you're saying it was a mistake. So, you should, you should embrace her for our love. Something like that. He's trying to say things, things, like, things that so things happened that night that basically haven't Which happened before. Woman, you so, you know, without going into too much detail, I'm talking maybe like seven to eight rounds, huh? and that's huh? something that's not. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And that's I know, I know, I didn't just hear that. Really normal. Why is it not going boss? No, let's pause it first. Then. I'm talking. You know, without going into too much detail, I'm talking maybe like seven to eight rounds. Seven Bro, hold eight. on, hold on. I see hold on, pause, 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 pause. Let me tell you something here. I don't think it's humanly possible. Seven to eight rounds. That's it. Eight rounds to finish something out of it. Yeah. yeah. I think you just made it too. Yeah. Hey, yeah, thank you. I, yeah, I don't think it's honestly, even if they take yeah, breaks. Yeah, and if he was Honestly, even her. if they take breaks, I don't think it's humanly possible. Maybe from yeah, my own view. view. For somebody to actually you know, what you know, and if he was fucking her like that seven to eight rounds, then why did she complain that they don't be having sex? That was eight months ago. Eight months ago though. Eight months ago. Eight months ago. What did it change? No, see, she so got pregnant. She so got pregnant eight months ago. Let's say let's give it like that was nine months ago. So then that's probably why he stopped sleeping with her, because she had an abortion. Hmm. Same word, detective, give me. <laughs> Give me. But like, but like, okay, at the same, same time, to though, eat at the same time though, I don't think abortion should make you lose like interest. In but he kind of, he, he no, indirectly, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. He indirectly oh, said but she I feel was like fast. that's the reason why. He indirectly said she was fat. Yeah, though. but the timeline is all adding up though. Mm. He called her fat, but like it's still around the same time period that she literally got rid of this baby. So and then he stopped sleeping with her after <laughs> doing seven to eight rounds per night. So that thing is not possible. Please. Comment <laughs> below if you think it's possible. Seven to seven to eight rounds. Bro, bro, the men should actually talk about this, bro. Seven to eight rounds. Please tell me somebody has done it before because me, I have not. Literally, be over active. Bro, that activeness is not here, bro. Like, there has to be Viagra and Bro. Let's go. And that's something that's not really. Bro, your dick don't get trained, bro. What are you talking about? I'm talking maybe like seven to eight rounds. And that's something that's not really normal for us um so after you know the, the situation mm -hmm. we uh you know we had a discussion about it and um we came to a mutual agreement whereby we both decided that we were not ready to have a child and we were not going to go through with that process i wouldn't say it was a mutual agreement i felt oh. like at the time where we discussed having an abortion mm -hmm. obviously I don't know if you know how things work, but when people have sex, you don't know if you're pregnant or not there and then. So it was, I felt like it was a joke. We've always, we've wanted children from the get-go, you know. So when that situation happened and Paul was hell-bent on having an abortion, he actually said something like, if you have the baby, I'm not sure I could be there for you guys. And I've grown up in a household of two parents. 
And I've always said to myself that I would never be a single mum. So my only option was to kind of have an abortion. And he, he was willing to take me there, pay for it, everything. So that's kind of what we did. And we haven't spoken about it well, since. It's, it's a difficult one because I know she's upset um, about the situation. I'm not happy about the situation, obviously, clearly. But to kind of blame me... That's, that's that's kind of unfair because um, it was honestly an mutual decision. I, I literally remember both of us having a discussion and coming to a conclusion collectively. It's kind of one way to say it's all my fault, in my opinion, but I do definitely see where she's coming from. It's your fault! It's not. I'm playing this game too much. What he's about to do. Okay, Denise. I'm Sorry. Sorry. I understand that. You're taking ages. Yeah, but it's not easy. He's about to go down. 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 Had what? I feel like once he said your ex, I feel like she already kind of knew. She just wanted to say Like she already knew that he was cheating. She just wanted to hear it from him. Maybe I'm just extra. Nah, you are extra. I had a conversation with you. Conversation. Conversation in the car. So you wasn't training, that just You definitely you definitely were training. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna sh Yeah, so me and my ex, we met up, obviously, trainer as usual. Then we had a conversation in the car for about, say about four hours. It was five hours before we did And it was obviously I thought, yeah, we just general chit chat. But the way it kind of went, it weren't the way I expected it to go. Yeah, we're just talking. What, are you trying to get back with them? No, no, nothing. I don't even care about that. Okay, Jabelle. No, I'm already annoyed. Hey! I'm gonna need you. She said that annoyed with the Nigerian accent. To say whatever you have to say because I'm actually getting pissed off. After your four hour conversation, what happened? I, like, is, is that why you're taking so long to tell me to tell me you had a four hour conversation? I kind of cheated. You kind of. what? You think it's the disrespect for me. You kind of cheated. Like, come on, man. You have more respect for me than that. You know, because at this point, he thinks she's foolish. He thinks she's a fool. Just say it. Yeah. I feel like when men. She did. Around, What's kind of? You're disrespecting she did. yourself. You're disrespecting me as well. Okay. First of all, the way you're looking at me is pissing me off. What did. I don't understand. What kind of cheated? I'm not understanding. No. He's in the car. I think it's escalated just a bit, a bit too quickly. What escalated? You and your ex. What did he do? It's escalated. Jamal, I'm gonna need you to tell me exactly what. They were just talking now. I'm not understanding. For, for, for like, it's part of a. a is it about being pranked right now? Because you're not actually communicating what's going on. You and your ex met up for our conversation and you kind of cheated. What does kind of cheated mean? Kind of should I, would I, wouldn't. I'm going to need you to talk. I'm not going to say it again, please. What does kind of cheated mean? Put it this way. <laughs> he was in a car with his ex and he was getting up to things that he wouldn't be happy for you to be in a car so with another nice. man. Okay, Dennis, thank you so much for, for, for saying that, but I'm going to need to hear that from Jamel. What is it that happened? I need to know. Oh, fuck, man. Nah. All of a sudden, Jamel can't speak. Hey. Should we say it's me? Nah, it's hard to tell you that, because obviously I know how, you, how we feel about each other. Right? Jamel, you're pissing me the fuck off. He's pissing me off too. I need to know what happened between you and your ex in the car. I need to know now. Do Bro, say this to me now. This shit is scripted. Why is he wasting so much time? I think he did it so dramatic. Oh, he's always raising his eyebrow. So you brought me here to waste my time? You brought me here to waste my time? You brought me here to waste my time? You haven't told me yet what has happened. On top of that, you're not making sense. So when was this? 
When was this? Um, when was it, Jamel? Damn. Damn. Hello? I feel like it happened on Yeah, I feel like it happened with you recently. Yeah, definitely happened. Sometime in February, I think. Sometime in February, you think? You don't remember? Yeah, I can't. Okay, so what happened in the car? It's not something I'm proud of. What happened in the car? 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 Please, what happened in the car? Just. What do you do? Okay. No, honestly, you, know, you should just say because the more time you wait, the more time you lose. For your time. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm so sorry, Denise. Thank you so Please. much. Because he's actually brought me here to embarrass yeah, me in front of everybody. Just embarrass me. And for that reason. For that reason. She left her bug. For that reason. No, no, for that reason. No, she left her bug. She left her bug. No, 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 no. You're taking a fucking piss. You're taking a fucking piss. No. Are you actually taking the piss? I, no, I, no, no. I slept with his ex like I fucking knew it. He's actually boying me off. The ex that I'll be smiling with, that you doing Zoom call with her. These guys are actually He's fucking boying me off. You're boying me off. I'm a dickhead. Guys, she was on Zoom calls with Stop telling me to come here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where is the exit? Where is the exit? I need to leave. Why are you following me? 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 Oh my gosh. I'm fucking pissed off. You're embarrassing me. You are embarrassing me. You are embarrassing me. Do you understand that you brought me on television, yeah? I thought that we were fucking here to work on us. I thought we were here to work on us. But all this time you're making me look mad. But it's you. It's you. So all this time when I said I don't trust you, hello? All this time when I said I don't trust you, like the mother does this, the mother does that. So you may, you may have multiple times, innit? No. I know you but just, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, is the camera man running the background? So you may you may have multiple times, innit? That is no. the position. I know you but just, I don't, want, you know, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Jamel, I'm not doing this. Jamel, I'm not doing this. Jamel, I'm not doing this. I'm doing what I was. I'm just feeling embarrassed. I've just been embarrassed. Can you just explain what's up to you? This guy's embarrassed on TV. This guy's embarrassed on TV. I've just been embarrassed. Is this thing you're actually real than this man? Jamal, don't come, don't come here say that. Yeah, you absolutely don't come here say that because you fucking don't. You don't. She's not crying. Then you will go back. Your ex. Your ex. Your ex. It sounds worse than it actually is. It's not. Jamal, what happened? I'm like, this the last time I'm going to What's going on? Tell us. Let me know. Let me in. No, but if we're being realistic, I feel like a lot of guys dish things out that they wouldn't be able to take in return. Because what if Deborah was the one? Like, let's flip the situation now. What if she was on us? You don't live, no? Exactly. He wouldn't even, he wouldn't even hear her out. Mm. Just please be patient. Please. Mr. Harris, I get him mad. I get him. I just, I get him. Yeah, oh, you're fucked. I'm actually deep in everything. No, wait, wait. I'm deep in everything. <gasps> so, <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. It's actually all making sense now. So they're turning the phone around. They're running away when I'm dead. The lack of quality time. And you're spending time with your ex. It's making sense. I am not mad. It is not me, it is all you. And for that reason, I'm gonna think long and fucking hard what I'm gonna do, because I'm not a dickhead. Let me just understand that it helps you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't want what you have to say. We need to understand this, you've been watching on TV, you've lied the whole, the whole fucking TV with me. Be honest. You've lied. You've lied. I even mentioned the fact that I'm okay for you to train your ex. Look at that fucking that little bitch. That bitch. No, she had a chest for some guns on that day. This is disrespect. Because the baby has been talking to her. And you. No. He is someone who's somebody that you know. Exactly. Is it the word? somebody that you never know. No, but she. Mmm. Oh. Give me that, 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 give me that. Ah, I've suffered. We know. Don't, 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 please. Okay, dumbass. It's fucking embarrassing. You mad? No, we don't know. Why do you still follow her? I'm living in a space where I feel like I might not be able to have kids anymore. No, 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 no,
as much as I love this their relationship and their 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 moment, I'm really interested in that other one now. It's like I think I'll just skip this one. Well, yeah, man. Anyway, but babe, we don't know that. Second this is our situation now. Like, so, like I thought as though that was like my only chance, you know what I mean? Like and now he's taking that away from me, away from us. And you know how he is. Like imagine we get married and I'm unable to have kids. No, Chama. Are you even gonna stay? Do you know what I mean? Like he made me have that abortion. I will stay with you through anything. Trust me. Yeah, his line just like his hairline because it's black. <laughs> That's a magic though. No, no, no. no. No? Oh, all right. Very difficult. Right. Right. Very exciting. Wow. I feel like it's okay wow. to think logically about it. But she's still she thinking about getting what married to him. Have to say so is now. That we're all masters of our own destiny. Mm. And you may have spoken about it together, but ultimately, who walked into the clinic? Yeah, but you can't say that though. You can't say that. You know my situation. Yeah, Denise, nah, Denise, Denise, who's side are you on? Denise, 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 I made the decision to have the abortion, but come on, baby. But I feel like you, you, you forced me. We made up the natural thing. I thought that you loved me that much. And clearly, I was mistaken at the time. Do you know what I mean? And now, look at us like. I feel like it was is just greedy, and Shoma is very considerate. Yeah, and Shoma is also needy, so it doesn't go together. Like. It's mostly good. I don't feel Shoma is needy. I feel like Paul really just changed to something Shoma wasn't in love with. Mm. She was in love with the idea of him, but well, not him right now. Dang, that's not even where we are. No. Far. No. Come no. back. Wow. wow, too far. Wow! Like, think about it. He's so inconsiderate that he can't even have his own African food on only Sundays. No, mm. that is wow. a self hate thing. He hates himself. No, nah, it's not even that. It's, the, it's a thing where you can at least add that little part of. Your girl, that's that part. Your girl likes cooking for you, and she says she only wants you to eat on Sunday. Sundays. If you are, if you are considerate, you add just that little part into your schedule because it means a lot to her. Even though it may not mean anything to you, it means so much to her. But in therapy, because our, our relationship is going to shit, we don't have a baby. We have nothing to kind of prove for three years we've been together. But what you do have is a future that you can work. What if we can't have kids, Denise? What if we can't have children? That's my point. But you don't know no, that, that yet. You're worrying about something. Denise! Denise. The thing is that she will cheat on her if they don't have children. Because you know, they we can't to change our past. Kids. But together, he's Nigerian girl. And at the end of the day, honestly, if work. he was going to marry her anyways, like, she'd be there in therapy because he wanted to marry her. Why did she have to get rid of the baby at that time? Do you get it? Mm. Because if this was, this one, this one before they have... moved in together, no? But no, apparently, at that point yeah. in time, they said they were on a break, it was so mm, mm, that's true of the day. On a way of making sure your future so sure is then. healthy, happy, and long, you know, lasts a long time. But not if you keep digging up the past. At the end of the day, I've had an abortion. I can't take that away from my past, can I? You can't take it away, but you can learn to deal with it. Ah! And you can learn to accept. Ah. Is he only me or is Dennis reminding me of Paul? She's giving me Paul vibes. She's not being considered. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. No, Dennis is just talking. She's kind of being. Dennis is being talking a bit from. Dennis is talking from an inexperienced point of view. Yeah, I just really. So like, if you are at that stage where it's like your partner doesn't want the baby, but you want the baby. Partner tells you should get rid of the pregnancy. If you are at that stage, you realize how much tension and how much pressure you are, you are mm. that, that's going on, and you realize that you think that oh, like I can't do this on my own because at the end of the day, you like it's not even about you. You might be able to take care of the baby alone and be that single mother, but you don't want your child to grow up without a dad. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because this is a sensitive situation. So the way she's approaching it, it's yeah, just throwing herself. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, she's yeah. doing her job yeah. by being impartial, but it's just the way she's coming off. Say, uh, I promise you. Um, I, I promise you, I'm willing to be here for you. At 
acting that that's what I want can you promise me that that's what I want to hear now Babe, I promise you that I'll be an active dad regardless of the situation you can see his own boy is swelling he's lying he's lying and he knows that once he says that she's going to come down yeah, because, because he knows her just let me know yeah, when see, you men study women okay. so they can always say what they want them to do. yeah ask for a minute I hope we have coverage of this man. Babe, that was so painful that you never brought it up. You never spoke about it. You see what I'm saying? And now we have to do it in the same place. Like, why does that make any sense? Babe, I, I get what you're saying, right? Now, th there's nothing that I can kind of say to defend this. And I want you to do something. But, but, I want you to do something. Yeah. He had, he, he had an abortion. A, a, a woman had an abortion for you. Mm. And you never spoke about it. That means she don't even care about Yeah, a her woman you're still in a relationship with. That means she don't even care about her well-being, like her mental health, bro. Do you know how deep that is? I feel like he's about to say something very, 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 very stupid. Now, th yeah, there's something is. that I can kind of say to defend this. But but what I would say is that, like, personally, I it's something that's been on my mind. Right. I, I've, I've, said it. I've had sleep, sleepless nights, Car. basically. And Car. Uh, men don't sleep sleepless nights. Tell him! Tell him no! I, mean. I, mean. I can be emotional right now, but I feel like that's not my job as a man to be emotional. Well, you can't be, like, especially about that. You know, you can be emotional, like, come on. What's wrong? To be here for you. As See, a man and he's doing this thing, thing as a man, it's not my job to be emotional. Yeah. Guy, so, that so if you're not being vulnerable with the person I you're in a relationship with, who are you supposed to be vulnerable such with? Such emotions, babe. To my knowledge, I'm not supposed to express such emotions, babe. I, I can totally be emotional with you right now, but I still want you to see me as your husband, the big strong man that you've always loved and wanted to be with, babe. Who is that? Who is that? I've called it, babe, but, but in the future, I want you to kind of like see me as your friend. Do you know what I mean? Like you can show all types of emotion with me, and especially about that. Like that's been bugging me. I felt like I was the only one who cared about it. Do you know what I mean? And hearing that you were kind of going through what I was going through, and we're in the same house, and you're just silent about it. Come on, and we're in a relationship, babe. This we're here because you don't ever open up. Like I don't know what am I an op to you? Like what is this? I understand where you're coming from, babe. I apologize deeply from the bottom of my heart. I can't even lie. I'm not actually emotional. No, like, this is actually like, what women go through in relationships. Not, I feel like that's why the show is so good because it kind of lets you see how niggas be acting and how babes also be acting. Yeah. Oh, it's only a moment. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's for Paul, right? You guys always copy. That was dramatic. I thought you left. I thought you left. Yeah. 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 Um, now that we're actually talking Chama about it, it's bringing back all the emotions. Ah, this is a talking man, guys. You're telling me you're not. Give me a break. 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 If I can move past this, I still feel like Trump and I should be able to kind of um, work things through this. This shouldn't be. It's a lie! Guys, this thing is even worse now because we now know this. Like, this is crazy. Y'all stupid. Like, production got uh, back in the room. Honestly, I'm just very, very thankful because I would have been able to do it myself. Um, hopefully, I'm able to speak to her and she can joke. actually understand. He's actually joking. And, and, and I was rooting for you. I don't think you realise how much strength in your relationship there is for you to have been able to be back in here and sitting next to each other after that conversation. I knew it. Do you feel any better having got it off your chest? I'm not being funny, but 
these people are so lucky that I couldn't find the exit, I couldn't find where they placed my bag because I was not going to come back into this room. Well, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been embarrassed. I want to go. Just even going to make us be strong as a couple. Hmm. After cheating. Strong as a couple. Um, I hope you know. Like, honestly, I've experienced it on numerous occasions. Like, even, even bringing her back into this room, I just think, like, for just coming back and just trying to hear me out. Um, like, she means the world to me, honestly. Like, and... Deborah, are you listening to what he's saying? No. No, Denise. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to Have you learned anything in this journey? I don't think it was a situation where it was more about us. I think it was more about maybe me. Mm. Like, it is the hardest thing. Like, it is. And I would never want to hurt her. And obviously, it is a big mistake. It has been something that I'm proud of. So it's been something that's going to happen again. It's been to break so for something that's taught me to be just be honest, be transparent. Um, I'm, never, I'm never trying to step out, just avoid situations that could. Yeah. It's interesting that you've just said that maybe the issue was not about um, Deborah, the issue was possibly the reason you wanted to come was because of your. Situation. Yeah. So is the guilt that brought him here? I'm surprised. Is the guilt that brought him here? Like our situation is, well, the reason why everything kind of has sprung up, I feel like it's based on my guilt. I said it. Yes, no one is sure you won't believe me when I step away. Well, I have a very, very deep reason to believe that that is too good to And that's okay. He was a bad boyfriend anyway. What? Like I just see. Oh, that's not like okay. I just see. Oh, that's not okay. Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> what the hell? Nah, but let's do it like this. Um, Jamal came to meet Deborah and said, "Oh, can I train my ex?" So let's say I'm dating one of you guys here. Yeah? Will you guys be cool if I say, "Oh, can my ex train me no. at the gym?" No. Okay now. Would you guys be Will cool? cool? No. Okay now. You tell me you're trying to go after nation. Would you be cool? I'm like, fine, go. But I'm also going out for nation. I didn't tell you. Would you be cool? I'm surprised. You found my ticket on my laptop. Like, I wasn't going to tell you. That's it's a bit it's sauce it's now. Not, it is. It's not a bit. It is. A big shame. Things I haven't been saying. I don't understand, like, why it's a thing of the way she may act and suspect the things. Like, what did they all say? They all say a woman's intuition was. Great. Mm. He's complimenting her now. So, do you believe you were acting any differently to, to give those signs off? Subconsciously? No. Sorry, Denise. I just have one question for Jamal. Like, I just want to know why. Because, like, I'm not that bad of a person. Not bad. Like, I want to know why, like, so it's me, clearly it's me, it's nothing to do with me. Clearly it's me, I want to know why, that's my only question, like, I actually don't have much more to say. No, actually, it's a bit sus though, because remember when they first came for therapy, he mm. was like, she's the problem. Mm. He wasn't talking about anything about him. He's the guilty conscience, that's not me, he's the problem. He's the, he's the one that suggested that you should come to therapy, he's mm -hmm. the guilty conscience in the relationship. So Jamal is the bastard. I just want to know why. Denise, like, Deborah's, there's not an issue with Deborah. Honestly speaking, like she's a lovely girlfriend, like she's my peace. Like I'm really I'm really down with that. No, oh, no. Why do you want me to get that cup again? Like, exactly, he's lying. He's lying again. He's lying. He's lying. 
when you catch a man in a lie, you tend to start trying to compliment the baby. Yeah, they also tend to start stammering because mm. they're like trying to think of what to say. Mm. Next week. Question. I'm not satisfied with that. Right. Like, I really think I'm blowing it with Deborah. You are. Like, I don't think there's no chance of us recovering this one. Like, no matter how much we've gone through. But this one, this one feels a bit different. Maybe yeah, off camera, uh, maybe mm -hmm. for the future, who knows? Yeah, I'm seeing right right now, talking like for the future right now. Right. So that's right. what I'm saying. Like, like it's not a fourth relationship. It's not you want to talk about like cheating. I think you were rooting for him. I was rooting for him with a cheater. I knew he was slimy from the moment I laid my eyes on him. The thing is, we're all humans, <laughs> and if we were robots, you could program a robot to not make a mistake. And because we're human, it's natural that the bad choices could be made. <laughs> then is saying is a mistake. <laughs> then the bad choice is just, is just being neutral. Yeah. She, she she's, not, she's not one to wreck it. She's one to fix it. You have mm. found it yourself to let this person go. Mm. 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 Like, you know, you can't really blame her for that. Mm. Like, that's 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 you would like to come back, maybe, and let her work that would be necessary. Yeah, yeah they were just telling me. Oh, you're doing something like this again. It's a waste of my time. I thought all he has pulled her through. I'm not the problem. Oh, shit. It's a waste of my time. Oh, just an okay. Even if Deborah does have a bad trait, well, mm -hmm. because of how the guy has moved now, literally. Nobody knows about it anyway. That's what I'm saying. He's cheating as a sum of everything. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, oh, the way she was acting was as a reaction to how he was treating her. You never actually know. embarrassed me. After all that we have been through, I actually can't believe what this relationship has come to. I don't think I can continue one in this relationship. I feel like their relationship was... The chances are very I, slim. I feel like There's their relationship was not that never going to last because... You can see the, you consider. can see that they are not vulnerable with each other at all. Like it's clear as day. Like, yeah, or, like, yeah. or like the way Chioma is vulnerable with Paul. You know mm. what I'm saying? Chioma but Paul isn't Paul. vulnerable with yeah. Chioma. For Paul is just a thing. I want to be that strong, independent man that we fell in love with. Stupid, yeah. Taking Jamal back. Wait, wait, wait! Before you go anywhere, I know you're wondering what's next. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. You don't have to wait till tomorrow, a fortnight, next week. We have a special episode, The Aftermath, and you can watch it right now. Did you hear that? Right now on bluetherapyshow.com. Let's start from the top. So, you've been watching these couples, you've loved them, you're invested in their relationship, you see Denise giving her advice and you want to know what happens with them. We have the answers to your questions. The Aftermath will be sitting down and speaking to these amazing individuals to find out about life after blue therapy. Oh, see the parodies, see the memes, the tweets of conversations, and you want to know where they are now? You're going to find out. So what I need you to do is click the link either in the description or on screen right now and you can get the episode right now it is only one pound 49 and what will that one pound 49 do well it will help us here you still see on twitter to keep building no key you still see on twitter these amazing shows which are quickly becoming a household name i feel like i've spoken too much my name is Offender, aka Miss Fit Queen UK, and I need you to join us on bluetherapyshow.com. Yes, so. Don't leave me. Join me. Queen. Let's watch the trailer. Miss Let's Fit go. Queen. I'm fed in love. That, yes. Queen. Join me. Let's watch the trailer. Let's go. I fell in love with a, with a false image, with a perception. I didn't even realise that he was gradually breaking me down. Wait, between me and you, what did you first say? When you say what? Oh. Guys are just really just the guy's too clean, bro. He's too clean, bro. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's clean. He's... I'm sorry, he cheated. He's dead. Not even that now. See how he's coming back now, months after. He has recharged confidence. That's why he can't talk to him. I'm sure that's it. Do you hear him there, but he's saying that's about to At that time, when I was single, I was saying. Yeah, I get you single, but you didn't mention the fact that you dated. Does that make sense? I'm then criticizing me on top of that and making my life hell because you. I believe you're in love with your brother. No, she's not with Paul anymore. We're trying to be fair here. This is your platform. What happened in those four hours? 
I'm Sandra Wingstop, but whoever gave you that phone fucked up. You guys aren't filming, you know the relationship I had with this girl, and you still gave me the phone, promised me an apology. Matt's is actually here, as you know. Hello. Hello. Gorgeous lady, hello. Hello, how are you? And you know, I'm excited that you hurt me. You know what I mean? So I can do whatever I want. We have to do it. You don't know what I'm saying. Now there's actually no chance. Yeah, it is. Like, like it's fair game now. Like, what? You started something you knew you couldn't finish. So I'm going to end it. Um, okay. Sorry, who? Hmm. What the hell was that? What was that? Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. No, it's been. It's been real. For sure, man. And Jamal is a cheater. It's J. And Paul is a bastard. E. E. Oh my god! Ah! Go kill the whole thing! Chut, 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 Uh uh. You don't laugh, finish. You just want the wrong go. No, now press that red button to subscribe. Yes, yes, that red button. Press and to subscribe. Now, yeah, press that bell. That school bell. Press and press and to the get our notification. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, if you feel good, thank you, thank you. A lawyer. You take it to mouth, then I should be picking the cottage. Yeah, if I gave you back the ring, I take it to promise. I wouldn't be here on the aisle. I want to make sure you feel all the shit that you put me inside when you gave me a smile. Want you to know that you're back on my radar. I had to go and get my shit together. Previously, all I wanted was peace, but ego and silence, they pay back was better. Yeah, I dedicate this every word, every letter, every verse to all of you people that hit on my blessings. I bless